the car won't start. There's something wrong. Uh, Mark, go get the tools from inside so we can fix this. Make Hannah do it. Why should I do it? He asked you first. I'm older. You should do it. Please, someone, just get the tools. We have exciting places to see today. Fine, fine. I'll get them. Ugh. Thank you. Let's see if we can fix this. Hmm. That sounds really cool, Uncle David. I'm excited for today's trip. Mark, give me my binoculars. Finally, I've been carrying your binoculars all day. Look ahead. These are the pyramids of Giza, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Aren't they just incredible? I can see them. There are three pyramids and they're all so big. And there are lots of people too. Mark, look, there are even people riding on horses and camels. This is wonderful. Wow, Uncle, what are these pyramids for? These pyramids were built about 4,500 years ago. They're really, really old. Even older than you, Uncle David. They can't be. Way, way older than me. Wait a minute, I'm not old. Oops, my bad. Anyways, these pyramids were built to be the tombs of the ancient pharaohs. Today, they're a major tourist destination. So crowded! Hey, what's that weird statue next to the pyramids? That's a statue of a sphinx. A sphinx is a mythical or imaginary creature that has the head of a human and the body of a lion. Um, no one is really sure why a statue of a sphinx was made here. Here on our right is the Nile River. Wow, there are very beautiful trees here next to the Nile. And look at all the amazing boats. What is that building over there, Uncle David? That's the Egyptian Museum. It has one of the largest antique collections in the entire world. It's huge. Hey, Hannah, scoot over so I can see more. No, I'm looking at it too. Please, guys, be kind. Come on, it's time for our next stop. St. Bishoy's Monastery. How far is it? We still have a long way to go. It will be a fun ride. Hannah, why did you do that? Now my clothes are soaking wet. You're so bad at everything. I'm sorry, it was an accident. I'm really sorry. Ugh, no, just stop talking to me. Ah, thank goodness. We're nearly at the monastery. It's so beautiful here. Yes, and peaceful too. Wow! This monastery was founded by a man named St. Bishoy more than 1,500 years ago. Since then, it has been rebuilt many times. Who is St. Bishoy? What did he do that was so special? <laughs> I'll tell you all about him. But first, I really need to use the restroom. I've been holding it for the entire drive. I'll be right back. Well, let's look around until he comes back. This church is really big and beautiful. Let's go inside. Hannah? Hannah! Hannah, there you are. What are you doing? I was just looking around. Relax. Anyhow, look at the scene on the curtains of the altar. Who is that? It looks like a monk washing someone's feet. Maybe the monk is Saint Bishoy. Maybe. Quick, give me my magic glasses. Maybe they'll show us something. Ah, yes, good idea. I don't see anything. Wait, look, the curtain is glowing. St. 
Pishoy, is it really you? Hello. Yes, Hannah. I am Saint Pishoy. It is wonderful to meet you and Mark. Would you like to hear my story? Yes, please. I was born about 1,700 years ago in the year 320 AD in a small Egyptian village called Shansa. Are you older than the pyramids? No, Hannah. He's like 3,000 years younger than the pyramids. Sorry, Saint Bishoy. Please go on. No problem. It's good to ask questions. Anyway, I was the youngest of seven brothers and I was never very strong or healthy. And then one day, an angel appeared to my mother in a vision. The Lord says to you, give me one of your children to serve me. Lord, take whoever you want. Bishoy will love and serve the Lord. My Lord, take one who is strong to serve the Lord. This is whom the Lord has chosen. Wow, did you leave your house to serve the Lord right away? Great question, no. First I finished growing up and learning to love the Lord. Then, when I was about 20 years old, I went into the wilderness of Skeet and was ordained a monk. I spent many years learning from older monks and growing closer to God. Is that when you founded this monastery? Not quite. After my spiritual father, Amber Bimwa, passed away, an angel led me to the place that would one day become St. Bishoy's monastery, this place. But back then it was just empty desert. I lived in a small cave and many people visited me to ask questions and learn about the Lord. I loved to pray constantly. So, to stay awake, I would tie my hair to the ceiling of my cave so that I would not fall asleep during a full day and night of prayer. You did what? How did you pray for such a long time, St. Bishore? I think it's hard to even pay attention in liturgy, and that's only a couple hours. That's okay, Mark. You see, the more you pray and get to know the Lord, the easier and more joyful it is to spend time with Him in prayer. Even when it's hard to concentrate on prayer, keep trying. The Lord is always listening and He loves you so much. So why does the curtain of the altar show you washing someone's feet? Yes, Hannah, I'm getting there. I am very old, remember? Be patient with me. So one day I was sitting outside my cell and I saw a weary stranger walking along the road. Hello, sir, please. It seems you have been walking a long time. Come inside my cell and rest. Oh, no, it's all right. I'm nearly there. Please, I do not have much to offer, but come just for a little while. Thank you. It has been a long journey. I will only be a moment. Please, please sit down and relax. No, no, please. This is too kind. Please allow me to wash your feet. You have travelled all day and I wish to care for you. My chosen Bishoy, you are an honourable man. Lord? Yes, Bishoy. Wow, you washed the Lord's feet. I would never think to care for a stranger like that. When we show others love, we show love to the Lord. Anyhow, this story is why you see me washing a man's feet on the curtain of the altar. This man is the Lord. Wow, did the Lord ever appear to you again? Well, when the other monks heard that I had seen the Lord, they wanted to see him too. Hello, brothers. How are you today? Una, we know you saw the Lord. Please. Pray to the Lord that he may appear to us also. Oh my dear Lord, if it is your will, 
please appear to my brothers the monks. They love you so much and they desire to see you, Lord. Amen. When I prayed to the Lord, he heard my prayer and told me he would appear on the mountain at a certain time and that my brothers the monks could come and see him. So on that day, all of the monks rushed to the mountain to see the Lord. Please, kind monk, help me reach to the top of the mountain. I'm too weak to walk alone. I'm so sorry. I'm meeting the Lord today. I must run. I will pray for you. Oh, and you, sir, please, will you help me go to the top of the mountain? Hello. I just need to go and meet the Lord first. I can help you as soon as I come back. Goodbye. All of my beloved brothers were in such a hurry to see the Lord that not one of them stopped to help the old man. At the time, however, I was also an old man and I was slowly making my way to the mountain behind the rest of my brethren. Hello, my name is Bishoy. Are you trying to go up the mountain? Please, let me help you. Oh no, it's okay. I know you are all going to see the Lord. I will only slow you down. Please, go ahead, Bishoy. No, I insist. We can see the Lord together. I know I am also an old man, but God will strengthen me and I will carry you up this mountain. Wasn't he so heavy? In fact, at first, he was very light. It was strange. As we climbed the mountain, however, he became heavier and heavier. After some time, he was too heavy for me to go on. And that's when I realized something. How can this be? You were so light when we began, but now I can hardly continue. Lord, is it you? Yes, Bishoy. My Lord, heaven is too small for you and the earth trembles at your glory. How can a sinner like me carry you? My dear Bishoy, when you help others in need, you show your love to them and to me. This love can cover a multitude of sins. Because you carried me, my beloved Bishoy, your body will be whole and pure when you pass away. And your body really never decayed. Yes, in fact, my body is here in this very monastery, whole and pure, just like the Lord said. Anyway, after this, the Lord disappeared from the mountain and I continued to the top alone. When I arrived, I told my brethren, the monks, what had happened. They were so disappointed for having seen the Lord and passed him by at the foot of the mountain. And they all learned a very valuable lesson in giving love to others, no matter how busy you are. I definitely would have left the old man like the other monks did. Me too. How can we learn to love and care for each other like you, St. Bishoy? Ah, this is a great question. First, always pray to the Lord that he strengthen your love for others. I know taking care of others before yourself isn't always easy, but with God, nothing is impossible. In addition to prayer, you have to practice. Hannah, Mark, do you play sports? Yes, we play football. Do you practice? Of course, we practice every day so we can get better and better. Aha, exactly. Just as you practice sports, you must also practice virtues like love, humility and self-control. Hmm, how can we do this, St. Bashoy? Every day, work on caring for others before yourself. For example, if you and Mark are both thirsty, make sure he takes a sip of water first. Or, if you and Mark are both tired, you carry the bag so he can rest. You see? Even the smallest acts of kindness and caring mean a great deal. 
I see what you mean, St. Beshoy. Even when it's difficult and we make mistakes, we'll keep practicing every day. I know you can do it. I am always praying for you. Goodbye, Hannah and Mark. It was so lovely to meet you. Bye, Bye St. Beshoy. Children, I'm so sorry. I couldn't find the restroom, and when I did, there were so many fleas, and then I couldn't find you guys. Are you enjoying the monastery? Oh yes, it is lovely. We were just enjoying the beautiful church. Yes, thank you, Uncle David, for bringing us. Oh, I'm so glad. Oof, it is hot. Um, I could really use some water. Oh, I'll get some for you. Just sit down and rest, Uncle David. I'll be right back. Oh, wow. Thank you, Hannah. Here you go, Uncle. Cold and refreshing. Thank you. Uncle David, is your back okay? Can I give you a massage to make it feel better? Really nice, Mark. Wow, thank you. You guys are acting weird. Did something happen while I was gone? Nope. We just love you, Uncle David. So weird. Anyhow, should we see the rest of this beautiful monastery? Yes, please. <laughs>